common say in Nigeria is, a hungry man is an angry man. If a man has eaten food, at least he knows that he has the day going. A workshop of this kind allows us both to discuss the scientific challenges across the disciplines, but also to get more scientists involved in developing what Future Earth is really going to be. Food Futures was a nice, short, catchy way of trying to tell people that this isn't about now, but they really have to position themselves 20 or 30 years from now. Food Futures is one of the top priorities that we need to take forward and that lends itself really well to bringing together different disciplines and different scientific fields. The work I'm presenting here is on land grabs on international investments by uh, foreign countries and other places of so trading virtual land which is becoming a scarce resource to grow crops for food or for fuel. A lot of what is happening with these um, international investments in land is actually more about maybe energy security uh, than it is about food security. So there's a lost opportunity for producing food where people need it most. The current food system, it's very unfair for, for everyone. On the one hand you have people starving, on the other hand you have people being obese and the whole system drives that. Basically what we want is that people eat less food, and, but the economy wants people to eat more food. And if people say, oh, it's just we should educate people about healthy eating or we should have a big media campaign, how would that ever work if we have this whole food system trying to sell as much food as possible? If you have producers, if you have consumers, if you have schools or hospitals or retailers, can you bring them to the table uh, can we start a dialogue about what are the barriers to access to healthy food and then can you bring them to a point to where you can start to address those barriers. Equity and social justice. For me that's the major challenge. If we manage to introduce social justice and equity within the food system, ecological um, uh, sustainability can along. I am mostly uh, interested in re researching the biogeochemical cycling of carbon and nitrogen in agricultural ecosystems. We are looking to see options that um, encourage uh, carbon sequestration in the soil by using maybe conservation agriculture. I'm uh, working on food obtained from the forest. I call it non-timber forest products that are obtained from the forest and serves as central role in household uh, food uh, sustenance. I work on uh, water disasters and mainly in Southeast Asia and uh, we are installing uh, early warning flood system. So if it works properly, then people, some people will be saved. My research program uh, focuses on the use of agri-food materials, bioproducts, as a precursor or source of bioactive molecules. We're trying to do what we do with drugs, with food components. People take food for different aspects. So food that is con considered to be edible stuff in one culture is not food in other culture. One is going to add honey to food and the other one is going to use honey against uh, diseases. So what I'm trying to put is that I'm, I'm trying to contribute the scientific data. Whether food or local food that we are consuming, they have some medicinal properties. So I have a passion to teach and to work on these uh, small projects that we have uh, in order to have a better food system. That's what drives me every day. I'm from the Igbo tribe of Nigeria, and I'm not quite sure how to describe our food. Gnocchi con fungi, so potato pasta with mushrooms. Yogurt with the raisins. Pan de giam, and uh, egusi soup. Fufu. The fufu is one of my favorite food. Seafood. So I have a bit of a crisis in terms of, uh, you know, overfishing. I love oranges, especially in summer. Uh, I think I don't have a favorite food. <laughs> it really depends on who is cooking it. 
We think there should be a community of researchers worldwide linked to work on these topics in the special way that Future Earth requires. And the best way to um, set up such a community of researchers is to get at the young people. And we think the format of this conference is a very good way to go about it. I think the people today will have a shared experience of the Livagoni and I am quite sure that it will carry through into many of the activities that they might do 10 or 20 years from now.